I just got my hands on the Realme Buds Air 2 and Buds Air 2 Neo and I have to say, I am very impressed by how much Realme has improved their true wireless earbuds game. They're feature packed and integrated so seamlessly, I could rate the experience as one of the best in the market. Like this might be the best 40 to 50 bucks you have ever spent. But which one is the right choice for you, the Buds Air 2 Normal or the Buds Air 2 Neo? Well, hit the thumbs up if you're excited and let's talk about it. Selamat pagi! Good morning everyone, Kenneth here and today we're taking a look at these two new earbuds from Realme, the Buds Air 2 and the Buds Air 2 Neo. Now, I won't read the specs or tell you that these earbuds have a 10mm driver with 25 hours of playtime. You can read that in a website. But what I'm going to tell you is how the transparency and ANC mode behaves, how good the customization is with the app, how easy it is to pair and all the other stuff you just don't find in a spec sheet. As always, Full disclosure are in the description below, but what you have to know is I always give you my own honest opinion. And keep in mind that these are just my first impressions. Although I think the stuff I said here are gonna be useful, I still recommend subscribing to the channel and ring that bell so you won't miss the full reviews where you can check out the details, the gaming mode latency, as well as the microphone test. Now, Let's start with the unboxing. And as usual on both packaging, you get the earbuds itself, the papers, a couple pairs of small, medium, large ear tips. And surprisingly enough, the included USB-C charging cable is a very high quality Realme branded one. But that's about it for the unboxing. So let's move on and talk about the build quality. Now, what you get on both is a very high quality design that puts attention to all the little things that matter. To give you some example, the Neo has a nicely weighted lid that stays open when tilted. And the Buds Air 2 are even better because they are spring loaded. So it really won't close unless you snap it hard. Then both has the same color coded LED light to indicate the battery inside the case. There's 400 mAh battery on both cases that gives you about four full charges. And last but not least, both has a button that you can hold for three seconds to pair with a new device. Or in case you have any kind of pairing issues, you just hold it for 10 seconds and they'll factory reset. No more tedious process of holding both earbuds for 20 seconds or whatever now. I also have to give props to the design team because honestly, these are one of the most eye-catching design I have yet to see. With the Buds Air 2, you get a full-on glassy case, which we'll have to see if it scratches easily or not, but it's got a nice heft to it. The lid is very solid, and the earbuds themselves look amazing with the two-tone silverly look. And for the Neo, it inherits the pebble-like design language from last year's Realme Buds Q. It's got a pastel sky blue color choice now with a matte finish, which is awesome. And take a look at the touch sensor. It's got a red and blue shade like an old school 3D glasses. It just looks awesome and very unique compared to the sea of black and white colored earbuds out there in the market. Now, both earbuds are fitted with metal mesh, which is very nice and the built-in ear tips are fine. The Neo has a normal rounded ear tips, whereas the Buds Air 2 comes with the oval shaped ones. For the most part, I found them to fit quite well, but specific to the Buds Air 2, I wish they could fit a bit deeper and grip the inner ear a bit more, which is why I'm using a large SpinFit CP360 here, by the way. I'll leave the links in the description below if you're interested in checking any of these products. Now let's move on to the juicy part and that that is the experience. If you're new to the true wireless earbuds world, let me tell you, there has been no single $50 earbuds that has such a seamless and well thought out feature set. The Buds Air 2 is so good, I have no problem calling it the AirPods Pro for Android. But let's go through the features one by one. So. Both earbuds support Google Fast Pair, which means pairing is dead simple. You just open the lid, get it close to your phone, a pop-up will appear, you tap and connect, and that's it. Then they're supported by an app called Realme Link, which lets you check the case and earbuds battery level. You can set ANC modes, change EQ to bass boost or treble, increase the volume even further, and this one is pretty neat. You can set it so that when you take the earbuds out of the case, it automatically picks up an incoming phone call. Now that along with controls customization, which I'm going to dive into in a minute, are pretty great features. But there's one more thing that impresses me above anything else. 
That is how the ANC modes behave. First things first, they remember your lost use setting. So if you put the earbuds into the case with transparency mode on, the next time you take it out, it will be in transparency mode. And this of course applies to normal mode or ANC on. Then when you're only using one side, you can still switch to transparency mode. No other ANC Buds I've reviewed so far has this ability aside from the AirPods Pro. So when you want to use only one earbud and still interact with people, you can just put it to transparency mode and yeah, this will really come in handy. Now, because the Buds Air 2 has a wear detection sensor, a better driver, and perhaps a more fully featured R2 chip, there are some things that you just can't do with a Neo. For example, when changing ANC modes, the Neo interrupts your music with a sudden drop in volume for the voice prompt, while the Buds Air 2 just plays your music like normal and overlay a noise cancelling voice prompt on top of your music. Next is during a phone call. Yes, during a phone call, you can toggle transparency or ANC mode, whereas with the Neo, you have to set the transparency mode before taking the call. But here comes the most important difference, just like the AirPods Pro, when you're using both earbuds with ANC on, you take one earbud off, music will pause, and the other earbud switches to transparency mode automatically. Did you get that? This is one of the reasons why I think the AirPods Pro was worth it, and now I can get the same experience on an earbuds one fourth of the price. That is a seriously good news. Anyway, let's talk about the controls now. And out of the box, they are quite limited. You can only play or pause and double tap, next song on triple tap, and change ANC modes by tapping and holding both earbuds for two seconds. But worry not, because with the Realme app, you can change everything. Left and right gestures are separated. You even have an additional slot for tap and hold gesture. You'll basically have everything you need, except for volume controls that doesn't even exist as an option. That said, I still think this is one of the better customization out there. Touch sensitivity with both earbuds are good, but my problem with the Feel CC Pro repeats itself on the Buds Air 2. So because the mic is located near the top with a touch sensor, you can say 99% of the time you want to control your music, you'll be blocking the ANC or transparency mode, creating a weird disconnect where the ANC stopped working at that moment, or worse, you'll hear a rubbing noise with the transparency mode, though fortunately, it's not annoyingly loud. Last but not least, I'm gonna say that the ANC and transparency are not the best. They just get the job done. The ANC reduce low rumbles effectively, but not so much when it comes to the mid-range or human voices, so don't expect anything too wild. The transparency mode also doesn't relieve that much pressure, and there's a hint of background hiss at all times here with these buds, but we'll get into more details in a full review along with the sound quality as well. Though I do notice that the Buds Air 2 sounds a bit cleaner and better overall. So yeah, do let me know which earbuds do you want me to compare them to? Just leave them down in the comments below. As for my first impressions with these buds, I think Realme has done a very good job of giving attention to detail on both hardware and software, especially that seamless connectivity and experience. I really didn't expect it to be on par with the AirPods Pro. And also the Realme Link app, which used to be an Android exclusive, is now iOS compatible as well. So if you're about to pull the trigger on one of these two earbuds, I say go for it. They're well worth the money and don't forget to use the affiliate links to help me support the channel. And also, if you have any more questions, just leave them all down below. I'll try my best to reply to your questions. Follow me on social media if you want to see behind the scenes and that's going to be it for me today. I hope this video helped and thank you so much for watching. I'm Kenneth. I will see you in the next one. Bye.